folks, welcome to one of our board reviews. This time on a stunning new board I just got in. This is the uh, DFR Dane Reynolds model. Um, Dane freaking Reynolds that stands for. This is the 511. Um, absolute stunning board. I've been looking forward to getting my hands on one of these um, to check them out. Um, a few little surprises, a few little bits and pieces of the board I wasn't expecting to see, but overall, um, you know, pretty much a high performance short board. Um, Real nice new outline plan shape. Um, quite a surprising amount of volume really through the centre of the board. Um, thinning out obviously in the tail on the nose, but with obviously fairly severe rocker, you can see through the nose a lot of flip in the first half foot, and then in the tail you've got a heck of a lot of tail rocker there. Really kind of pronounced. You can see how much tail rocker you're talking if I push the board down there. So. Real aggressive tail rocker, that's going to keep the board real pivotal and um, real sharp turning um, and obviously lend itself to a better quality surf. You can still surf this two foot um, up, but obviously you're better off if the surf's got a bit of power, a bit of speed, a bit of uh, rampiness to it. Um, but loads of tail rocker, it's going to really allow the board to turn quick um, and be real pivotal and directional. And go where you want it to go kind of thing. But basically a full outline, um, aggressive tail rocker, aggressive nose rocker. It's still maintaining the volume um, through the centre of the board. Um, there's a slight dome to the deck from the stringer line down to the edge of the rail. So there's a bit of volume through this section and obviously running down to a smoother rail edge. From rail to rail, this is what surprised me, it's actually quite forgiving. It's quite a smooth rounded rail edge. And as you come back towards the board and um, the tail of the board, it's obviously getting a lot sharper. So that's actually going to help keep the board relatively um, you know, forgiving and easy to surf in a sense. Um, I would have expected to see that quite sharp up this area. So nice and sharp through the fins where we expect to get loads of bite and control and hold um, through turns and in hollow sections of the wave. And now we can really go down and have a look at this, this single concave that runs through the board. This is keeping the board very fast, very driving, and that's going to help the board anywhere from two foot plus. In smaller surf, or when you get to your feet, you've got air passing through this shallow single concave, followed by water, which is then getting forced through the fins, concave deepening just before the DFR logo there. That's forcing water out through the fins, creating speed, drive, and thrust. That downturn rail edge as well, that's also going to help the board to bank over through turns when you're at speed. And it's also going to help dig into the hollow wave face when you're barrel riding and stuff like that. So, single concave, keeping it fast, um, plenty of control. Um, down deck, keeping foam through the centre, nice forgiving rails. Um, they kind of really help balance the board out when you look at the extreme rockers at either end. The extreme rockers are what makes the board work in hollow surf, keep it very um, tight through the turns, whereas the central features, the under concave, the volume distribution, the plan shape, are basically allowing a very high performance board to still be kind of workable for Dane Reynolds, who's essentially a big guy, you know, he's, he's quite a tall lad. So the benefits of this, or, or those factors, are going to help the, the average surfer as well. Um, again, with the tail rocker, you are going to have to be fairly light on your feet. You're going to have to pretty much be pulling this board out. Your bag when it surfs, you know, two to, two to six foot probably, quite hollow, quite fast, quite powerful. In those conditions, it will really excel. Um, but Highly recommended if you're looking for a cutting edge modern shortboard. Um, this is pretty much the template that a lot of the other um, board manufacturers will be copying. Standard with a thruster fin set, um, we can obviously have boards custom built to your spec, um, you can have them in the futures um, or FCS, you can have colour coordinated um, future fin plugs if you want. This model here, the um, thruster FCS, comes with the GAM fins. Um, the Eco Green Fin um, GAM template, nice and thin through the tip. Loads of um, drive from the wider base. Going to work well with a board that's relatively narrow through the end of the tail and also a board that's got loads of tail rocker. So they're the fins that come with the board. But again, if you're after a top end high performance short board, um, this is probably one of the best boards in the market right now. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.